Hi guys, so today I'm back with another new vlog. The time has come to get back onto Monaco Mosque. I've already checked into the hotel. Now there's only a one day quarantine. Times have changed, times have got better. But you guys still need to be safe and uh, don't go out without a mask. So now I'm here in Holiday Inn and uh, I've been going through all my documents. So I decided to tell you all each and every document you have to carry. I've also made a checklist which I'm going to put in the description. And this checklist will help you all to make sure you all never forget any document before joining a ship. Uh, the reason I'm making this vlog today is because I have had two experiences during my career where I've seen that experienced officers, senior officers have forgotten a single document at home due to which they had to return back after they flew almost half the world. So it's very important to check your documents before you leave your door, before you leave your home so that you know you don't end up in such a situation. It's uh, quite a shame that you know the captain on board he finds a missing medical when uh, you come on board so be very careful that you have each and every document in your black folder i'm sure all the seafarers and who are going to be seafarers the cadets who are going to go on board for the first time they must have heard about the black folder which is very important more important than your life this black folder will contain all your documents and you should keep it safely always close to your heart uh, carry it Never put it in the check-in luggage, always in the hand luggage and you take it on board and give it straight away to the captain. And when you're signing off, check that everything is inside as per the checklist again and bring it back home. And make sure that the uh, documents are always checked on a regularly so that you know nothing is getting expired or uh, you don't go on board with an expired certificate. So you should check it regularly that you have everything and everything is uh, updated and you have done the refreshers and updating. Uh, as per the requirements of STCW. So the reason I'm making this video also because I've, I've, have had, I've had two stories where, uh, where the second engineer, he forgot his medical at home and he traveled half the world. Only when he handed over the documents, the master was going through the documents and he realized that, you know, um, the medical is not there. And when he told him that, uh, asked him to check and he didn't have it. So he had to go leave the ship, of course, and fly back home, get the document back and then sign on. That took another 15 days. It didn't happen immediately. So they go back home and then he joined again after another 15 days. But it was a pretty shameful thing, right? He's a senior officer and things like this do happen because you are sailing for so many years and then so many documents. Somebody took it out to remove a photocopy. So that's why I said keep a checklist with you and uh, check before you're leaving home. As I'll put this, I made a checklist. I have a checklist, but remember the checklist I've made is uh, for me. But it can be applied to almost everybody. But uh, depending on the type of ships, you'll have more certificates. So remember that you should consider. You can modify your checklist as per uh, the requirement. And uh, another story is that uh, the officer who I met once, he lost all his documents because he left it in a train and then all his documents got lost. So he had to uh, start getting the new originals from each and every college and each and every department and you know how long that takes. It took him more than two years to get everything back and start sailing again as, a, as an officer. So be very careful about these documents. Keep it as close as possible to your heart. Always keep it in sight. Don't leave it either or there. Always keep it close to your heart so that, you know, Goom ne jayega. So let's start with the checklist what I have made. So I'm sure this will be very helpful to people who are joining ship for the first time, cadets and also to uh, maybe even experienced officers may like this video to know that, you know, we should have a checklist. I'm sure many people don't do it, but um, you should. So the first thing I will start with is passport. Of course, everybody needs to carry a passport when you're joining ship. Uh, because you're going abroad and make sure that it has at least few pages blank I think it's six pages you need to have blank and the appropriate visas check that it's not damaged because that will cause problems to you in immigration so sorry I picked up my COC but this is the passport and uh, if possible write your name on the passport because that makes it very convenient on board to identify if there are 20 Indians I mean all have black passports so it's very difficult to identify so Try to see if you can get your name done through any stationery or something. They can put your name so that you know you can identify a passport very well. Six pages should be blank and all visas, if you have US visa and all, valid on a chair. The second one is Siemens book. So all seafarers will have a continuous discharge certificate Siemens book. And uh, when you go on board and you sign off, make sure that 
uh, name of the ship and all the details are filled in correctly by the master master is also human sometimes he can make mistake so make sure date correct hai because it goes into your dg shipping login all the information so make sure the dates match as per real the real uh, uh, scenario and the port date of joining and official stamp signature sign off etc so this should not be damaged some of the ports they cause uh, problems if this is damaged so make sure that everything is fine same if all indians on your ship all will have this book so write put up e touch and make sure that it's marked so that it does you don't misplace it or you don't it doesn't get exchanged with somebody else's siemens book point number 3 coc so mera black hai mine is black because uh, master ka coc hai but uh, different colors for different ranks even engineers will have different colors so either be possible coc brand new hai mine so i have not put it yet but i will be putting it as soon as i go on board so uh, black coc for master and it is a uh, green for uh, chief officer and it was light green for uh, second officer so everybody will have a different uh, color of coc so don't forget your coc this is the um, only book which permits you to uh, sail a ship or uh, work as an engineer so make sure that this is on board with you number fourth point hai medical you should have medical certificate valid for and also you should have your any any your flag requirement if somebody has a medical book and also a yellow fever certificate so that is also needed to be taken so make sure that you have all these things and uh, then we'll come to i would recommend that everyone carries a few foot passport photographs sometimes it is used uh, it is needed over career of past 10 years i've seen that suddenly they say are can you get a passport photograph so keep some in your black file so that you know it's easier other than that you have to get someone to click it print it and get it formatted and to the size and all so keep some photographs with you in your black file always that's what i've been doing since many years and it has been helpful because suddenly if they come then you if they need it then you can know uh, this next point is uh, cash so especially for the new boys who are joining always make sure you have some money with you because you will need it then because do you will say that oh i have a credit card debit card but suppose it doesn't work abroad if you have forgotten to activate international traveling and all then cash very helpful so keep some euros if you are traveling to europe and most accepted currency is dollars 100 200 dollars keep in your pocket if possible with some change so you can use it if you need to uh, use that money to buy something to eat or something sometimes people agents come late you are in some foreign country you have connecting flight you need some cash so carry money with you 100 dollars and if you are going via europe and all carry some euros if uh, don't need to carry all all country ka currency or wherever you are traveling because dollar is widely accepted so dollar euro they accept in almost every country one piece of advice i will give you is that don't exchange try not to exchange money at airports there's a worst currency exchange try to do it at your local find out through your friends or find out through social media in your area where they do it give the best rates because airports give the worst worst rates even banks they don't give very good rates so if you are exchanging small amounts is fine but as you grow up the ranks you may want to exchange big amounts so be careful that you know the rate you're getting is fine so let's go to the next point uh, i don't know if everyone will agree with me but i always carry at least my last ship appraisal just so that you know in case captain will ask he wants to see or he doesn't have the information carry your last ship ka appraisal so i have my last ship ka appraisal here so carry along with me so if anyone asks i always have it it's like uh, if you have got a promotion recommendation and from previous ship and you want to show that you know you got it so that because once you get it the first one then the remaining are easy to get so carry your uh, appraisal with you for proof in case they don't have the information so you have a proof that you have a uh, certain comment certain recommendations and also improve your career to go up the ranks and uh, now coming to the point for the flight ticket in printed format not all airport except e copy make sure you print it phone uh, don't rely on your phone trust me with documents because in long flights battery may drain and then that's it you don't have any ticket anymore so print keep it print that e ticket print e ticket and uh, yeah and all the other do- documents which you'll receive from uh, the company like joining letter letter of guarantee and okay to board keep it all together because these documents immigration will ask 
and uh, don't forget the DG sign on company will give you this also so they will send it to you this is very important to clear immigration in today's world they will not send anyone on board if you're not cleared by the DG shipping sign on coming to the next thing is um, the uh, COVID certificate final COVID certificate print it don't keep it in your phone because as I told you it can go off any time during the flight battery some battery drain so your phone can get corrupted anytime so print and keep it final COVID certificate then I come to the next thing which is your GMDSS for navigators if you have navigator if you are a navigator for sure you will have GMDSS booklet and endorsement by MMD keep, remember to keep that then most important thing because of MLC you need to have originals contract always keep the contract with you in original form with the signatures and keep it in your file because master needs to show in case uh, PSC or something will ask them and they do ask original all crew on board should have original contract with them read the contract that is my suggestion many guys on board I have seen they don't know what's written in the contract they don't know anything read the contract it doesn't take more than 10 minutes it's a very small uh, bunch of papers read it so you know so you're aware what are your rights and also what are your duties as per your contract and um, then coming to the new thing I know everyone already knows about it but SID that's the new thing what we have so if you have not made it make it immediately because more and more countries I'm sure will start asking for it and also they will it will be a more stringent requirement for MMD that everyone needs to have uh, SID so the next thing we'll talk about is uh, the courses ka certificates that is your basic courses your basic courses which will include uh, FPFF, PhD and the elementary first aid and if you are a tanker guy then you'll have oil tanker familiarization courses and you'll have also have PSSR so five certificates keep it because those are the basic STCW every seafarer will have it not only any kind of seafarer will have it even the guys on the cruises so keep this with you and advanced courses you know there is a long list of advanced courses which you go through I am master mariner so I have a lot a lot of certificates but carry everything don't think that it's not needed because you are already a higher rank you need to have everything with you why because if it is at home it can get lost and also keep everything together in the black hole so I'll just go through the uh, advanced courses it's um, EGDIS and then you have ROC uh, you have ARPA, RANSCO you have Medicare you have SSO and you have the SMS that's just before your ASM you need to do the SMS course and then uh, the next step of the checklist is do not forget to put in your upgradation refresher courses the ones which you do every five years that is also important because without that your uh, original certificate is invalid so refresher uh, and your um, upgradation courses carry it along with you and then I'm sure every company has company specific and chief specific um, certificates and courses don't forget that so you can modify my checklist to make it more better where you can put each uh, tick box for your company specific and your uh, ship specific courses which are done polar egg disk will be a spe specific wala and you can put that so re remember to add all those things so i hope you enjoyed my video guys and um, and i wish all the guys joining a uh, happy sailing and safe sailing uh, don't forget to take all your documents as I told you I've seen people going through a lot of trouble when they have uh, forgotten a certificate or something is damaged fines also if the certificates are damaged some countries even impose fines so make sure that so certificates are not damaged and um, that's all for now I wish everyone a safe sailing if you have any questions or you have any uh, you have any comments to me just write it in the comments or you can even message me I always reply and uh, help uh, future seafarers to uh, you know clear their doubts many guys have been messaging me I've been helping them to clear their doubts so don't worry just ask me directly if I have any uh, questions about documentation or you have any questions about courses definitely do ask me and uh, at the end I would like to say don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like what I'm presenting to you and you need anything in specific video any information how to do what to do and how to enter merchant navy or how is merchant navy don't forget to ask me just subscribe like share and uh, comment 
uh, and i'll keep making all the videos thank you guys for watching have a nice day